you add a watch time command on Twitch, what you're going to want to do is first get Streamlabs like I have here. And then once you're inside your Streamlabs backend, go ahead and click on the dashboard and then click on CloudBot here. And it's going to open up a new tab in a new window up here. So once it loads, you're going to see this screen here. Okay. And these are like, this is the cloud bot right here. You're going to want to make sure that it's activated. Also, when, if you're first using cloud bot, you're going to want to make sure that you mod Streamlabs by typing this command right here. So it says slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat, and that's going to make cloud bot a mod in your chat. So then once you're inside here, go ahead and click on commands. And then once you're inside commands, you're going to click here to where it says add command. And this is going to create a new command for you. Now you can title it really whatever you want. For me though, I always, if you're doing a watch time command, I mean, it makes most sense to title it um, exclamation point and then watch time, right? So let me go ahead and make sure I spell that right. Hopefully I did. And then here, this you're going to need a little bit of code. Um, and then you could also do your own like custom response. So for me, this is the response is at username. So like for me, my Twitch name is streamers playbook. So it'd be like at streamers playbook has watched the stream. And I'll show you what this looks like in a second for, and then this will display the time right here in hours. And then I could, I put like my own little custom message here. So this at username part is essential. And this, and then the, the brackets, the parentheses here, user dot time in the middle here with the, the, it closed brackets. Those parts are the essential parts. Everything else like has watched or that's a long time. These are things that you can play around with and customize if you want. You're going to mark here where the response goes to. So obviously you're going to want to do chat, most likely not whispers. And then the permission who can use this regular subscribers, mods, streamers. I just choose everyone. And then you would confirm it right there. And it'll appear as one of your commands right here. Like you're going to see, I have my watch time command right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you now what this looks like. So if I go over to my Twitch channel and then type in my chat exclamation point watch time, you're going to see that it's going to pop up in my chat and say uh, streamers playbook, which is my username has watched the stream for 358.67 hours. That's a long time. That's how you do it. If this is helpful, like the video and subscribe for more tips.